Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and we are just going to continue with our example of understanding the simple machine learning theory. Okay, so so far in order to break the house I followed two of my friends suggestion and I just drew two straight line parallel to the x-axis and their parameters being m, b is the intercept and their error right so m was 0 B was uh, 175,000, which I took the minimum of the sale price, and the error came roughly around 156,000 dollar. Right? I wanted to improve this value, so I tried with another suggestion, and that was 230,000 dollar, and the error came down to 96,000, roughly. But then the, I don't want to be off by $96,000, you know, when I'm predicting the house uh, sales price because this is big, very big number and not acceptable for me. So what I want to do is I want to further try to reduce this error. So I called another friend of mine and now she suggested me that, you know, in order to predict uh, the sale price, uh, you have to include the area of the house also in the picture because so far I've been only playing with the sale price so what she suggested is you know rather you take hundred times the square feet area plus add some 75,000 and that will give you a much better uh, approximation I said okay let me give it a try so what I do is I calculate my first predicted value so my first predicted value for the thousand square feet area is hundred times the square feet area of that house which is thousand in this case plus seventy five thousand so if I calculate this I get hundred and seventy five thousand and if I now match it with the original price it shows I have a difference of twenty five thousand dollars okay similarly if I calculate the predicted price for the 1250 square feet house I do the similar calculation 100 times 1250 plus 75,000 so what I would get is uh, roughly around 200 and 2000 right yeah so my y for 1250 is roughly about 200,000 so if I compare it with my second value here so then I am off by 50,000 okay so I continue with my third calculation which is 1500 square feet and I do the same calculation again 100 times 1500 plus 7,000 75,000 and if I calculate this, this comes around 225000 and if I compare it with my third value here, then I'm off by about 50,000 and I keep keep doing this uh, for all the records, right? So um, if I now consider the 1750 square feet area, why I'm calculating all of this is just to explain what goes on inside a machine learning algorithm right and it's worth this effort of writing all these values uh, for this example so this comes around 250,000 and if I compare it with my third val uh, fourth value here I see there is an error of around 25,000 right and for the final one if I continue with my same calculation I will see that I get roughly a 25,000 error here as well okay so now if I calculate the total error or how wrong I, I know this logic was so what I will do is I'll take the square root of all this sum of all these terms square yeah 50,000 square plus and so on right 50,000 so these are all the individual errors that I got plus and 25,000 whole square plus 
you can try this example by your hand and then it will be, be much more beneficial for you so this would be the total um, error and if I take the square root finally I would get an E of 82 roughly about 83,000 okay now if I pull my chart again so my M B and E M was 0 and I got a B of uh, 175,000 in my first assumption and got an error of 156,000. Second attempt was 0, 230,000 and got an error of roughly 96,000. And in my third case, M now became 100 because that was the slope I took. And my intercept, I consider it to be 75,000 and my error further came down by a very significant amount up to $83,000 which is much better than these two but then of course $83,000 off means it's a big amount of money and it's not considerable for me now in the case of buying a house it's it may be very much significant but if it is compared to a business a say multi-billion dollar business for them $83,000 may not be a big amount so for them they might be you know quite okay with this rule but as an individual so depending on the problem statement right and depending on the context this error is you know considered that way for an individual $83,000 is a big money but for a business or a company this might not be a big amount I'm not saying that you know they will just get throw away but this is just from a prediction perspective right they're actually not throwing away some money okay so uh, if I keep repeating this experiment with different values of M and different values of B there is a possibility that this error might come down even further maybe you know five thousand dollar and for even for an individual off by five thousand dollar is still somewhere acceptable if not <laughs> totally not acceptable but then five thousand dollar is much much better than you know going for this one hundred and fifty six thousand error so what I am saying is by changing this different value of M and B which are the parameters of my straight line okay I might reach to a point uh, where I'm you know off by only five thousand dollars or maybe even what you know guess what I might be even off by just thousand dollars right we don't know but there is a possibility that we can keep reducing the error at least to a point right now here comes uh, the interesting parts that this is how you know by repeating you know with different parameters M and B I'm able to finally approximate the relationship between the area of the square feet house and the sale price and finally you know my expression would my predicted estimation would be some value of m in my last example it was 100 but say some value of m say 50 times uh, the sale price x plus say you know sixty thousand dollars i'm just making this up maybe this was the final equation where i would get this error right okay and that is the main idea behind that how can you get these values of m and b and and in order to reduce the error this is called as optimization in machine learning okay so let's continue in our next video and further derive the idea behind machine learning